Hey guys, MA Fish Guy here. Uh, I'm gonna be setting up the filter for the pond. Uh, I just kind of wanted to go over some parts that I'll be using because uh, not a lot of the videos do that. They pretty much just show you it all together and they don't really show you what's going on with it. So basically all I have is this part is going to be hanging out of the uh, actual barrel itself and then the elbow joint is going to hook onto this. Which is then going to create the angle that I need to actually pop it into the sump. Then this is going to go right into here. So it's basically going to be sticking out of the barrel just like this and then a downspout right into the actual waterfall. Now depending on the outflow that I have on this, uh, I might need to put a uh, ball joint valve on it uh, to actually kind of regulate the flow uh, and see how that works. But I'm basically just going to be using a uh, the same drill bit, same kind of type that you'd use to drill a hole in the uh, door for a handle. Uh, it's perfect because this is 2 and 1 8 inch which is perfect for uh, the piece up above. And then this is the actual piece that is uh, used for the input of the tube from the actual pump uh, into the uh, barrel. So I'll be drilling a 1 inch uh, circular hole into it uh, and popping that basically in and then I'll be using a metal tightening uh, circular piece, I can't even think of the name right now, brain freeze, uh, and that will be holding it in place on the other side. Oh, there it is. It's a little rusted, but uh, one of these. And that will hold it on to the one side as it's pumping the water into it. So uh, I'll be doing this and showing you basically the end result. So stay tuned. So here's a complete uh, without all the tubes and hoses attached to it, but here's the outtake or output uh, It's basically just held in here uh, with a uh, Basically like a screw-on uh, Attachment that I had to kind of modify chisel it so that way it could get a little bit tighter on it uh, But it's nice watertight uh, Also with this I had to add uh, another uh, I believe it's a maladapter to the inside and then attach the outside to it. Uh, when I just had this piece in there, uh, inside the barrel it was leaking like crazy, uh, which definitely is not a good thing, which can lead to erosion uh, and different things like that. Um, and it could cause my waterfall to sag a little bit, but I will be adding the uh, end of this tube onto that and then putting this output uh, into the waterfall. I might need to add a brick underneath or something like that to give it a little bit of leverage on top of the waterfall, uh, but we'll kind of modify that as I go. Uh, so I'm going to hook it up, hook the hoses all up, and kind of see what happens with this. Okay, uh, everything's all hooked up. Here's the moment of truth. I'm going to plug it in and kind of see what happens. Uh, I'll be adding the media and stuff afterwards once I realize all this is working without leaks or anything like that. Okay, so so far so good. No leaks going into the intake of it, um, but this is filling up quite nicely. Uh, I'll pause it and wait for it to kind of fill up to the top of the, uh, the output to kind of not make it so it's stretching this out so much. So uh, stay tuned. Okay, so it's almost up to the output. I do have a leak going on down there, probably just from the pressure, so I'll add some more uh, plumber's tape to that, and that should take care of that right away. Uh, but I think once some of the pressure is released of this water going up, and you can see all the debris floating around in there, this will be all caught by the uh, different media that I have going on. Um, but here's the uh, moment of truth. Uh, I mean, it's pretty steady leak down there, but like I said, once I add the plumber's tape, it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, so there it goes into the actual outtake. Just got to make sure that the input isn't greater than the output and it looks like it might be uh, but once this gets going it might not be a problem so I did one thing you want to keep in mind when you do this you want to make sure that the output is twice as great as the input so we'll kind of see how that goes okay so that puts pretty good. It's pumping the waterfall. I have to even the waterfall a little bit. It looks like it's kind of cockeyed to one side, uh, but I did have to kind of move it a little bit to make sure that the hose 
fit in correctly. Uh, so I can't really complain. The output is keeping up with the uh, the input of it, so that's definitely good. Uh, it's not even going above the tube right there. Um, so definitely, definitely good. I uh, can't complain too much about that. So again, I'm going to be adding some modifications to this. Uh, I will be adding a uh, some plumber's tape to that input to kind of make it a little bit more durable. Uh, I will be leveling out the waterfall, but this can't be bad at all. Um, actually, what I might do is the output shouldn't be a problem because once I add the UV sterilizer into this bunch, uh, it is going to slow it down a little bit. Uh, so that will probably take care of that, no problem. So the output should definitely at that point have not a problem keeping up with it at all. So again, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, this is going to be a collaboration video. I'll put all the parts together so you can see it in one video. So thanks for watching.